this has been a great lesson in depending on others and how messed up our healthcare system is. Today I had a really bad allergic reaction. I went to urgent care, they said it was something I ate or something I touched. I think it was the prednisone they gave me for a cough. Prednisone is a steroid, they gave me stronger steroids. They sent my prescription to the wrong pharmacy. So I'm having this allergic reaction, trying to figure out where it is, the lines are busy, then no one answers the phone, and then, oops, my doctor's not in my network. So I had to pay out of pocket, but I finally got some medicine. But this is like hours later that I've been having this allergic reaction get worse and worse. I was lucky this time. But what if I had a, a really serious reaction where I couldn't breathe? Don't delay me getting help for a possibly serious thing because of technicality. I took the medication that they gave me and then it got worse. Shivers, really clammy, and the rash started coming back. So I went to the ER. They're pretty sure it was a rare reaction to the prednisone that I was given. Something I learned from this experience was how far I've come in letting other people help me. Past me would have been like, I can go to the ER alone, it's fine. I don't want to burden anyone. It's not that big a deal. But actually, it's a gift to give yourself and others to let them into your lives and help you. We must learn when to ask for and accept other people's help. Be grateful and courteous. People love you. You don't have to do it alone. Yes, I could have gone to the ER by myself, but I was wise enough to know that I needed help. So I asked for it and I got it and people were happy to give it. It was so much less stressful to have someone there with me. So thank you, Emma, so much. I'm just grateful to be alive, okay? Take care of yourselves. Good night. Health care reform. Health care reform. Figure it out, United States. What do you think? What can we do?